Now we'll look at rational functions. First, a definition. A rational function is a ratio of one polynomial to another. Rational functions of the form f of x equals p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomials. We've looked a lot at polynomials already, so this should be somewhat familiar. We'll look at the example f of x equals 10 times x minus 8 times x plus 5 squared all over negative 2 times x minus 2 squared times x plus 11. You should be able to recognize that both the numerator and denominator are polynomials. They're simply polynomials in their factored form. As we go through these videos, we'll sketch the graph for this polynomial. We'll just do it one piece at a time. There are three parts that we focus on for the rational function when we're sketching the graph. The first is roots, then vertical asymptotes, and finally end behavior, which includes horizontal asymptotes. Let's start with roots. Remember, roots are horizontal intercepts. It's where the output is zero. To figure out where the roots are, we want to look at the numerator. Roots are linked directly with the numerator of rational functions. The roots for the numerator are the roots for the rational function. We know that if the numerator is zero, then the entire function has to be zero because zero divided by anything except for zero will be zero. Zero divided by two is zero, zero divided by negative 14 is zero, zero divided by pi is zero. If zero is in the numerator, then the fraction is zero. Just like we saw with polynomials, if the factors in the numerator have an even multiplicity, then they bounce they have an odd multiplicity, then they cross. Given the example we started with, we can focus on the numerator. We see that we have roots at x equals positive 8 and negative 5, which means we'll have the points negative 5, 0 and 8, 0. At 8, 0, we'll cross, so we have an odd multiplicity. At negative 5, 0, we'll bounce. We have an even multiplicity. Let's go up here. We have roots at negative 5 and 8. Negative 5, we bounce. At 8, we're crossing. That takes care of roots. If that makes sense to you, which hopefully it does because it draws heavily on what we've already learned from polynomials, then go on and we'll look at vertical asymptotes. If not, go back, review this first video, make sure it makes sense before you move on.